Hey what's up everyone my name is Aditya and I welcome you to the brainstorm codings in this video I will create static attributes and static methods in JavaScript and I will also tell you the difference between the static methods and instance methods and also the difference between the static attributes and the instance attributes the code for this video you will find the link in the description box you can check the code for this video so let's get started The difference between a static method and an instance method is we can call the static method only by using the class itself so if we have a class car and if I create a method which says console.log this method says what is up with you If I call this method using the class name, save this program and run it here, you can see we have an error. This error says card or show is not a function. Now the, we have got an error just because this is an instance method. This is not a static method. In JavaScript, we have a different syntax to create a static method. So the difference between static method and instance method is we can call the static method only by using the class itself and we can call the instance method using only the instances of that class. So if we create an instance method and then we try to call it using the class name, it's not going to happen. It will, give an, it will give you an error. So this is an instance method and I'm trying to call this method using the class. That's why I have got an error. So if I create an object of this class and then I try to call this method using this instance, if I run this program again, I have no errors. So I've got this message which says what is up with you. So now you can see the difference between a static method and an instance method. Now why I said that we have a different syntax in JavaScript to create a static method is because we use a keyword in front of the name of the method. So that keyword is static. Now if you have tried object oriented programming in another language like Java or C++ then um, they have some other rules for static methods and instance methods. So if you create a static method in Java we can call that method using an instance of the class and the class itself also so that is the rule in java but in javascript we cannot call an a static method using the instance of the class so if you see i have made this method static if i save this program and we are calling this method using the object if i run it here we have got an error now this error says that c1.show is not a function and if I try to call the same method using the class name using the class itself and if I run this program we have the message again so what is up with you so this is how we can call a static method using only the class itself not the instance of the class and let's say I have an attribute here I have a field which is name and if I try to print this, if I try to say that, hey, my name is, and let's try to access this name property. Let's assign a value to it. Oh, this is my name. If I save this, and we are calling this method using the class because it's a static method. If I run this program, so it says, hey, my name is car. So you can see that now this, this dot name is not referring to the name property because we have assigned Aditya here. So this name variable, this name property contains the value Aditya. And we are trying to say that, hey, my name is Aditya. It is supposed to print, hey, my name is Aditya, but now it's printing, hey, my name is car. 
and the car is the name of the class so now it's printing the name of the class if I try to change the name here change the name of the property let's say um, employee well I'm not an employee I, I don't want to be an employee but let's assume that if I save this and run it it says hey my name is undefined now we are getting this undefined because this is not a static attribute this is not a static property so if you want to access a property inside a static method it has to be a static property so if I use the static keyword again in front of this property if I save it here and run it you can see we have a message that says hey my name is Aditya now it is correctly using this this dot employee property from here so static method only uses the static properties if you have created an instance property so if I don't use the static keyword then it's it's an instance property if I use the static keyword then it's a class property it's a static property so if you want to call a static method and if you want to use a property inside that method then you this property has to be static as well so this is how you create a static property and a static method and that's the difference between both of them so let's see what happens if I try to create an instance method and if I try to access a static property from an instance method and let's call it using the instance if I save this and run it here this again says hey my name is undefined now we are trying to call us we are trying to access the static property inside an instance method so this is again uh, not going to happen so if I remove the static keyword from here and if I run this program again we have again hey my name is Aditya now this is referring to this employee property which we have declared here but if I do it with static keyword then it's not going to happen so if you want to access a property which is static then this method has to be static as well if you're trying to access a static property inside an instance method or if you're trying to access a, an instance property inside the static method then you're, you're going to get this undefined you're going to get this undefined so this property will have no value it will be just undefined so this is how you create an instance method and a static method so that, that's the difference between both of them and this is how you use the static property inside the static method only so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one hey i just came back to tell you one more thing previously i said that if you try to access a static property uh, from the instance method or if you try to access an instance property from the static method then you will have undefined and you will have no value so uh, I was wrong at the time uh, it's not like this variable or this property contains no value the value is undefined itself so when you in JavaScript when you declare variable and you don't initialize it then JavaScript automatically assigns undefined to it so undefined is itself a value which is assigned to this employee property uh, if you try to access it in uh, a static method and if it's an ins instance property so yeah so thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one